Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your new moon message. I mean, your magical moon message for the new moon in Aries, 11 p.m. PST, give or take a few minutes to change. I got inspired to start this right here because I love how reality actually mirrors the transits as above, so below. So right in front of me, I'm looking at a legitimate example of the balsamic phase coming out of Pisces before the moon is new. We know that Aries is about identity, right? So this balsamic phase is having you release one identity and now activate a new one, hence a new moon, because there's power in the name and you're activating new power. So get this. See what's behind me? It's Sears. I've been walking past this Sears almost every other day. This is the route I take to go along my walk, okay? And look at that. They have removed the Sears lettering. What does that let you know? They're getting ready to rebrand. Maybe it's no longer a Sears building. Maybe a new building has bought it out. Okay, that's an interesting car. Or maybe they're going to rebrand and replace the Sears name with another Sears name. That should be a sign to you. Just like you've seen. And it's so weird. I'm used to, like, I think I walked past it just two days ago and it was still there. So that means the low events are in line with what's happening above. And just like that name is being released and getting ready to be replaced, as you come into the new moon in Aries, you are establishing a new aspect of your identity, a new activation. One word of new moon cycles and conjunctions, they are activations of cycles. And every time we come back around, I want you to think of an onion peeling its layer. But I also want you to think of wrapping a bandage gauze around your arm. You're coming back around this cycle. You're coming back around this cycle much more powerfully and stronger. This is going to be bad for people who passive aggressively project negativity to manipulate you to do things they want you to do or out of things they don't want you to do. This is very powerful, stubborn energy. It's like a baby. You're going to do whatever the fuck you want to do. And you have to, with Chiron and Aries, be willing to piss people the fuck off by just doing you. Choose yourself. Choosing yourself will piss off all the manipulative people in your life who have an agenda for you and will activate and trigger their insecurity, manifesting their willingness to put you back into the box they manipulate you with. Aries is a warrior. Get ready to fight. Whether verbally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, or all of the above. All right? Mama ain't raised no bitch. Mama ain't raised no trick. But, I mean, if some of you want a trick, uh, just do it responsibly, okay? Other than that, this is so very important because this is not only the new cycle. Every year we have this new cycle. You come around every year to add more layer to this power you activate. Think about how every year around this time, you start this cycle to add more to your character with the year's worth of experiences that develop your personality. So that being said, you're activating new power, baby. You are Dr. Motherfucking Strange before he was in the Avengers. Because listen, listen, next year, this year, we have Jup we have Mercury, Sun, and Moon, and Chiron. Next year, we're going to have Sun, Jupiter, Moon, and Chiron. So the difference between this year and next year is this new moon, Jupiter is still in Pisces. You are activating your new identity while jupiter is evolving your belief in magic on neptune and then mars and venus is on saturn so let's take dr strange she was she was eyeing me she know i'm sexy let's take dr strange and i know some of y'all think i'm sexy too it's all good there's a cap on that uh license plate yeah sexual chocolate is mr godiva's move uh the aries is coming out but other than that this is just so very important because let's take dr mother effing strange dr strange the difference between this year and last year dr strange was on the verge of having to release his old identity as a surgeon because his hands are broken he had to surrender his belief in what he thought reality was that's Jupiter and Neptune, 12th house to Aries, okay? And for the first time ever, the ancient one showed him magic. Magic that he's probably seen his whole life, but the ancient one 
was direct in his experience, pushing him out of his body to show him a, a non-material life. We can even say the point that he astral projected forcefully from the ancient one was when he started to truly, really believe that this is real. And so Dr. Strange now activated a new identity, releasing his old understanding of being a doctor and now becoming a sorcerer. But listen, he wasn't Dr. Strange yet. So next year, when Jupiter is in Aries, I mean, he's always Dr. Strange, right? But next year, when Jupiter is in Aries, right? This is you on the Avengers as Dr. Strange. I want to, once again, make sure we know the difference. Right now, you're Peter Parker, who just realized you're a spider. You're a spider G. You're a whole spider gangster. You're not even Spider-Man. You're spider gangster. You be webbing up people and you be running the block. But you you just awaken to this. And so you don't even know what your costume looks like. Versus next year, you're a part of the motherfucking Avengers. You're Spider-Man, part of the Avengers, Spider Gangster, part of part of the, the Justice G's. Okay? Oh my god. Okay. Or Doctor Strange that's using magic and now having to create his world around the belief in magic versus next year. He's part of the Avengers. 2023, you're defending the world from aliens. By the way, 2023 is the beginning of the end of the world. Pluto Aqua, aliens invading. So 2023 is going to be the most accurate representation of Infinity War we've ever seen. Oh my gosh, trust me. Shout out to Thanos. Other than that, yes. Next year, you fighting to protect the world from aliens with the Justice League. But you're a Doctor Strange that has fully mastered and personified his belief in himself. To where now, Jupiter and Aries next year, you're acting off of that completion. So there's so much you're getting ready to experience this year. 2022 is a transition year that will transition you out of the old 12 plus 20 year cycle it took to synchronize you to become your super magical version of yourself or your super magical self, right? Verse 2023, where you actually move forward as this new chapter. So this is a transition year into stepping into your greatest power and it all begins now. <clears throat> Capricorn season was the hardware you unbox, whether it was a computer or a phone or a video game console. Aquarius season with Saturn was the operating system that you downloaded. Some of you use iOS. Some of you use Windows. Some of you have PlayStation. Now there were forced narratives. So you had certain apps that were forced as a part of the thing to download, like Pray for Ukraine and BLM, okay? And wear your motherfucking mask. I hate that app. But some of you jailbroke the phone with Uranus square Saturn, right? And despite the fallacious judgment against these narratives that offer no proof outside of just hearsay and belief and just reinforce with negative judgment as if to peer pressure you like that actually does anything uranus jailbreaking this allowed you to circumvent these forced programs and by jailbreaking the system you're able to download ios fuck it or windows fuck it or playstation fuck it or xbox fuck it okay and so my favorite app on that because pisces season is where you downloaded the software my favorite app is i don't give a fuck um uh, my personal favorite i don't give a fuck about shit is the most popular app right now it's tied with fuck you pay me okay um my personal favorite that is not really the most downloaded on that app or system ios fuck it um i'm personally using windows fuck it uh is suck my dick i love that app i love that app it's vulgar it, it really expresses what i need to express it gets the job done and there's so many apps being developed now and evolving with immersive this experience to augment your imagination with reality it's next level some of you are downloading apps that let you do the equivalent of driving a car that you know eats you out and performs fellatio or cunnilingus while you're driving and i have to use that example because such an app is both innovative and controversial innovative in the sense where wow i never knew that i can get eight out while i'm driving controversial 
in that, is this even safe? Should I feel this good driving while getting eaten out? Am I doing anything wrong? And you just have to be okay with how good you feel. Don't worry, it's a self-driving car, you're safe. Now, maybe your car is not gonna eat you out, and if it does, holla at me. Let me see if I can drive that too. Uh, but other than that, this is trying to say that the same emotions that would evoke from you, from trying to conceptualize how crazy that would be, is the exact emotions you're gonna feel with this new moon. Yeah, your car may not eat you out, I know, I know, bummer, but you're going to manifest power that'll that will evoke a similar, if not crazy, reaction. And this is where, now that you've downloaded the software, because once you get a new phone, you start to download apps. Well, guys, airy season. <laughs> My bad, I watched a lot of film theory on YouTube. Is going to activate your use of these apps. It's the literal activation of you actually beginning to step into all of this before we step into Virgo season and now you've mastered the apps. So you done played Candy Crush to the point where you've reached the high score. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. So right now we're just barely starting and you're on the verge of activating new, new moon power. Okay. Now this is a super power because it squares Pluto, Neptune's behind it and it's manifesting Uranus and Taurus. Mars and Venus on Saturn is activating this just like Doctor Strange activated his power initially where? In a temple with other people. So when Doctor Strange in that movie activated his power, he was in a temple with the Ancient One with other people who he aligned his identity with and can learn with and from. Okay? Like the person he stole that book from using the magical abilities. So that's how Mars and Venus aligns you with the collective as you tap this in. And Neptune is your capacity to believe in the impossible. So there's only one thing I have to say. So many of you are maybe stuck in how to actually activate this. You don't have to know how. Your mission, if you choose to accept, is to believe in the impossible. Believe and perceive that nothing is impossible for you to achieve. You can materialize anything out of air into real life. If you didn't, it's because you didn't believe it hard enough. And it's not about believing hard enough. It's about getting out your own way. Okay, if you need to watch Neville Goddard or if you need to check out Pam Grout or any other of these sources that really help take you to the next level in perceiving that, inundate yourself with subliminals too to help you but you don't need these things. All you need to do is just believe in yourself more than you already do and allow things to unfold naturally because there's no time limit to accomplish all these things. Y'all stay blessed as always. This has been a long time in the making and this excitement with Chiron is gonna turn the key to activate new power that you can do so much with and transform your whole life with too. So what are your superpowers that you're activating? For me, I'm activating my ability, infinity. And the power I'm activating is this thing called my ability to do whatever the fuck I want, when I want, how I want, provided I take responsibility with it and it's a, a for and it's aligned with integrity. But yeah, and that power enables me to manifest my ability, infinity, so I can live my life limitlessly. Godspeed, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know what your power is, who are you? Because this new moon will activate more clarity of who you are than ever before. And your ability and willingness to align with that will reveal more what this power or powers are. You've worked so hard to get to this point. You very well deserve it. they are people who don't believe in themselves. So it's not that they won't activate power. They'll just never use it because they don't believe in themselves enough to use it. You do, though. And so be that leader. Aries teaches you to be the leader of individuality that no one else can be because there's only one you. And now I'm sounding way too inspirational and I don't want to be that guy. Godspeed, ladies and gentlemen, and make sure that you make people suck your dick, force them to, but in a non-rapey matter that respects their time and boundaries. Peace.